Hi everyone, it's Rhonda, U.S. Cheshire Canary. Don't mind me, I'm trying to use the light that I have because uh, it's at night. Um, this episode, is, I've been trying to film for a couple of days now. Um, it's about body positivity. Um, I'm going to do a couple of shows or episodes about the two 20-somethings that have really helped change my life and turn my life around. Um, I started watching them a year ago and they are now, they've gone from, you know, just basic average YouTubers, 10,000, 20,000 subscribers, and having a regular job, um, you know, waitressing and working at MAC Cosmetics. Um, to being full size or plus size models that are um, doing photo shoots all over the world. And, you know, 500 to 1,000 to a million subscribers. And they're 20 somethings. And I'm so incredibly proud of them in a motherly way, but I'm also incredibly motivated by them in a woman way. Um, I've spent over 40 years being ashamed of who I am um, as far as how I look and how people think of me in the general public. Well, a year and a half of working with a social worker and a great counselor and finding out that, hey, I'm worth it and I need to love myself and finally learning how to love myself. And then about another year and a half of working on the body, you know, being acceptable of how my body looks um, and that it's not the norm. Um, that's been something else that I've worked on quite a bit. And it all finally came together, my loving myself and loving how I look and who I am and this skin that I'm in kind of came to a pinnacle this summer when I purchased not one but two bikinis and yes I said bikinis did I say string bikinis no um I wouldn't buy those for a little kid I mean you need to be covered up when you're in public um and you know, a few little triangles and some string really doesn't do that, especially if you're jumping around in the water. Things just don't stay covered. Um, it's not the showing of the skin, it's just being um, mm, socially aware that some people become uh, very uncomfortable by the sight of a lot of skin or things popping out, you know. There are a few mega stars that know that that doesn't fly on national television, right? Um, and it was amazing. The first time I stepped out of the house wearing my bikini to go to the pool, I was nervous. I looked at myself in the mirror for like 20 minutes going, yeah, okay, this works. It covers everything up. I actually look good. I remind myself of, you know, Esther Williams or Marilyn Monroe and I'm happy and pleased with the way I look. So once I finally got out the house and to the pool, you know, nobody thought twice about it. Nobody made an open snide remark like they had, you know, years before when I was younger in one pieces. Um, nobody made any comments like that at all. In fact, I got a couple of compliments and asked where I could, per where they could purchase the swimsuit. Um, some of the ladies were my same size, although a lot of them were smaller and they were very surprised and actually liked the style because they were kind of tired of little triangles too. Um, why did I make that bold step to a bikini? It's, it's really pretty easy. I, I'm 6'1". But I'm short-legged for a six-foot-one tall woman. I have a long torso, a very long torso, which has made one-piece bathing suits almost impossible to fit uh, correctly. You know, it's either pulled up in the crotch or pulled down on the top. It just never fit right. I tried the tank eating route by going with a, a long top and a, a, a separate bottom. Well, that didn't work either because I 
and long torsoed and the bottoms weren't high waisted on any of the tank EDs I tried. Um, so it left this gap about this big between the bottom of the top and the top of the bottom. And it happens to be quite honestly the one part of my body I'm not crazy about and the least attractive part and I spent the entire time pulling down the shirt it's like this doesn't work. So I went to Target of all places and started trying on the separate tops and bottoms and even though they cost more than I really wish they would have I am very happy of every dime that I spent on them because I feel confident and beautiful and comfortable in both of them. Uh, with a high waist and, and a little more of a top, a halter type top and I'm very happy in them. Um, I've been in front of hundreds of people this past summer wearing this bikini. I don't carry a wrap. It's you know, a towel and me and a pair of flip-flops and I go to the pool. Um, not once and I comment or remark. And my glasses tint so I can see if people are making, you know, odd looks at me as, as long as I don't turn my head and look directly at them. They weren't. Um, the only pushback I got actually was for my own family. Um, which was a little difficult, but I can understand it. I can understand it. They've known me all of my life. Um, they know what I used to look like, and they just don't think that it's appropriate, and that's okay. I still love them, and once they see me in person, and how confident I am, and how well the suits fit me, and how they actually fit my personality as well, things will come around, but that's okay. So this body positivity part of this uh, video that I've been trying to shoot for two days is basically to kind of open things up. The ladies in their 40s, whether you were the cheerleader, um, you know, drill team, flag corps, skinny little theater actress in high school, but you've had two or three kids over the years, and you are a loving grandma now. Um, if you're you're blessed in that way or you still have kids in school and you're not exactly that size that you were in high school you're still a beautiful person you are actually more beautiful now than you were back then because you have all of this life that you've lived you've given life or you've supported life whether you've adopted children or animals or you have a loving husband or a partner or whatever your situation is. You are a, somebody who is so worth being loved for how you are right now and you need to understand that you need to love yourself. Um, there are a lot of women in my age group that aren't particularly happy with themselves. They may be on the outside very happy and very vivacious just like they may have been when they were younger. Um, but on the inside they don't really love themselves and this body positivity video series I guess will give you a chance to understand this journey I've gone through I will be showing you two youtubers that I absolutely adore um, I've learned how to do makeup with them I've learned how to style myself with them and thank God they have introduced me into new designers and stores that cater to women all the way up to my size and and larger um, and clothing that makes them look or makes me and, uh, and other women look absolutely phenomenal because these designers and these retailers know how to accentuate the positives and make women feel wonderful wearing their clothes. So that's a little bit of where I'm going with this series. I would love if you would take a moment and like and subscribe down on the bottom. Click that little box. Share it around to all the women and the men that you know because guys have body positivity problems too. Um, I've, my best friends are men and my two best friends uh, one I've known for over 30 years 
and the other one I've known for 20, 35 years. I'm dating myself now, so my two best friends I've known for multiple decades, let's put it that way. Um, and they have made comments that they don't, they're not entirely crazy with their beer bellies or or what have you. The middle age spread, they don't feel as virile and, vi and vital as they did when they were younger. They have the same problems us ladies do. Um, I wish there, I knew of somebody who I could have on the channel to talk about that. Maybe I will in some time. Um, but yeah, this is an adventure. And please like and subscribe. Share it around to your friends and family. Wow, I digressed a lot, didn't I? <laughs> well, that's me. That's me. So like and share around to your friends and family and subscribe. Um, have a very blessed Thanksgiving if you're fortunate enough to be with family. It's just my daughter and I. Everybody else is all over everywhere else. Um, in fact, if my cousin in Bolivia is watching, hi Rachel, Mateo, Maya, and forgive me, I can't remember your son's name. It'll come to me, I'm old, remember? You know, Grandma had that problem too, Rachel. So, anyhow, have a blessed day, have a happy Thanksgiving, and I will see you soon. So, remember... Keep smiling. Bye.